What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me. Let's get into it. All right. So we had the Oscars last night and Oppenheimer was extremely dominant, just like they have been at every other award show this season. They had the Directors Guild Awards. They had the uh, they had the Screen Actors Guild Awards. They had the Producers Guild Award, the Golden Globes. Oppenheimer has been getting showered with trophies for the last few weeks, and uh, it was no different this time. So there is Christopher Nolan, of course, um, accepting for Best Director last night. Um, let's actually get into the winners. Uh, but like I said, I enjoyed the, the broadcast. It's like I said, it's over three hours. It's a, it's a long broadcast. But let's uh, see if they can... Uh, Got to scroll through all this. Okay, so here's a complete list of winners. And there's Oppenheimer winning Best Picture. Christopher Nolan, of course, wins Best Director. Um, actor in a lead role, Cillian Murphy, of course. Oppenheimer again. Emma Stone. Now, this one was something that caused some controversy. I was looking on uh, X or Twitter, and people were uh, saying that... Um, Emma Stone robbed Lily Gladstone. Lily Gladstone was supposed to win because she's a Native American, and this would have been historic for a Native American actress to win Best Actress. And when you look at the Golden Globes, Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone both won awards that night because they had submitted Emma Stone in the Best Actress. Uh, actress in a musical or comedy and then they submitted Lily Gladstone in the best actress in a drama so they didn't have that category for the Oscars the Golden Globes have way too many uh, categories if I'm being honest but they submitted Emma and Lily head to head and of course Emma a lot of the same people that voted for her at all those other award shows they didn't vote for Lily. They voted for Emma, and Emma now has her second, uh, her second Oscar. What was it? What's that movie, La La Land, that she won? Her and Ryan Gosling were in a few years ago, so she's got two. Uh, she's got two Oscars now. I was really happy that Robert De Niro won. Some people thought Robert De Niro, uh, which I thought his performance in uh, Killers of the Flower Moon was very strong. He deserved the nomination that he got, but he's got, th what, three Oscars already. So, I mean, Robert Downey Jr., this is his second or no, his third nomination. I forgot he got nominated for uh, Chaplin and then uh, obviously he didn't win. And then he got nominated for Tropic Thunder which uh, I, I love that movie, but some people were uh, like, no, you can't give a guy an Oscar for wearing blackface. But um, I thought uh, he was strong in Tropic Thunder, obviously. And uh, Robert, you know, Robert Downey Jr. deserved his Oscar win last night. I, I really thought his performance in Oppenheimer was very strong. Um, and this is the other one that kind of surprised people. They had submitted Emily Blunt. I thought Emily Blunt was a lead actress in Oppenheimer. I thought she should have been nominated in the lead actor category and then uh, put Florence Pugh in as best supporting actress. They gave it to Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers, uh, that movie with Paul Giamatti, which uh, I'm going to check that out. I think it's on... I, th I think it's going to be on Peacock if it's not already, but I'm going to check that out. I've heard it's very funny, but I haven't I haven't seen it yet. But uh, she Divine Joy Randolph won uh, at the Golden Globes. What was it in uh, last month or whenever when they had the ceremony? So she won. And of course, those same people turned around and voted for her again. Um, see if there's any there's another one for Oppenheimer. Oh, now this is. Uh, what was I made for? Uh, Billie Eilish and her brother Phine Phineas O'Connell. Now, Billie Eilish is only 22 years old. And she already has two Oscars now because she won what I think it was just two years ago. She won for uh, No Time to Die from the James Bond movie. And uh, so I think she was only she was only 20 then. So, yeah, she won. She won. uh for best original song, her and her brother always collaborate together. He's like a brilliant producer. And um, 
So yeah, so I was I was surprised because they were they were trying to get I'm just Ken, which as you can see here was done by Mark Ronson and Andrew Wyatt. I'm just Ken, and I love that song. I I have a lot of uh, differing opinions on the actual Barbie movie. I kind of felt like they they were kind of like uh, men are bad, yay women. That seemed to be the theme of Barbie to me, and I I know uh, Greta Gerwig and Margot. Uh, Robbie were both like, it's, it's more about, it's not about bashing men. It's about women empowerment. I know my, my wife is a very strong feminist and she really liked the Barbie movie, but yeah, I, I seem to kind of get my impression of Barbie was, it was just, Hey, men are bad and uh, yay women. You know, that seemed to be my impression of Barbie. Um, but uh, I did think I'm just Ken was a funny song and I enjoyed it. And, uh, Ryan Gosling's performance of I'm Just Ken last night was outstanding. They got uh, Kingsley ben and Simo Liu to uh, do the, the performance. They had little cameos in his performance last night. They got Slash from Guns N' Roses with the guitar solo. I thought they really went all out. So I thought um, when they I thought they were going to win the Oscar for Barbie, but they gave it to Billie Eilish. So um, either way, Barbie. Barbie's got an Oscar for best original song, which I love. They actually really enjoy that song from Billie Eilish. So that's that's not the worst thing. But uh, like I said, if you watched the Oscars last night, uh, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, if you've seen Oppenheimer, I know it's on some of the streaming services now. I, and uh, it is definitely a solid movie. I, I, I saw that. I was like, this movie is going to win Oscars. <laughs> it's going to win a lot of Oscars. And it did. Like I said, seven Oscars out of 13 nominations. Congratulations to Christopher Nolan, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Cillian Murphy. I'm fans of all three of them. And, um, uh, yeah, give me a follow. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on Threads. All at Akari Press. If you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. There's a link to that in the description and also a link to my Gumroad if you want to check out some of my other comics. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.